Good afternoon, cult members, and welcome to Pop Culture Cult. I'm Sean. I'm Janice. This is going to be our trailer reaction for Ghostbusters Frozen Empire, which is one of our most anticipated movies of the year, because Ghostbusters. <laughs> and go. We're going to need all the help we can get. Let's get to work. It's all dark and horny at 12 o'clock. <laughs> I mean, trailer Sony. Sony. I've been waiting 40 years for this. They called themselves Ghostbusters. According to these hacks, they saved the world. Busters. No eyewitnesses. And who is planning well. to carry the torch? Descendants of Egon Spengler. You have a miner <laughs> hanging out the side of a moving vehicle, firing a laser gun indiscriminately. It has a proton pack. It's completely <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> the Ghostbusters are finished. Right. Well, overruled. Sustained. Sustained. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Cats and dogs living house. together. Buddy, you just hit the jackpot. <laughs> <laughs> is everybody in this? Apparently. The question is, what is yes. Of it? So we thought about opening it. Sure. The parables tell of an unimaginable evil commanding an army of ghosts. Unimaginable. With the power to kill by fear itself. Like, literally scared to death? What's, what's going on with the hair? We might be looking at a second ice age. Great. We're going to need all the help we can get. Let's get to work. Can I be of any help? Melnitz in uniform. Yeah. <laughs> Is there something strange? Oh. Is there something weird? Is that a potato? I don't know. What do you want? <laughs> We're the Ghostbusters. Can I tell you something else? What? Buster makes me feel good. <laughs> makes me feel good. <laughs> makes me feel good. Heads up. It's all dark and horny at 12 o'clock. Found him. Yeah. Upgrades. Yeah, well. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Yeah. <laughs> March 22nd. So this is the last big trailer. All I right. Would, I would think so. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I I am not here to have your conversation about Nostalgia Fest. The first one had nostalgia and it was telling a really fun story. Yeah, I, I don't feel like the first one was super... Like, I, I feel like it tried pretty hard and successfully to stay away other than, yeah. you know, the the Vinkman, you know, obviously his his granddaughter and daughter and granddaughter and and um uh ecto one was in the girl yeah ecto one i mean there was stuff and dan Aykroyd's character and i can't remember his Vink name Vinkman. is it Vinkman? i think it's Vinkman. um uh so there was a little bit but it felt like a a new story a new it was fresh it wasn't I didn't feel like it was. I I don't think I don't I never thought it felt nostalgic. -y. I felt felt it was a continuation of the story that they had told. Yeah, there was enough stuff to go. Oh yeah, this yeah. is a Ghostbusters movie. This is a Ghostbusters movie, and but, the, but this one is. I mean, it's straight out there. Slimer's in it. Like they're fighting in New York, and like it just. And I'm okay with it. Like I'm. That's what I'm trying to say is that it because they did a continuation of the first one. They continue on, but all of these people are still there. All these people are still in still in these the supernatural whatever genre right. in New York. Right. right. Even yeah. Dan Aykroyd's working in the curiosity shop, which is yeah. funny because if you watch a show on Is This Possible or whatever, <laughs> it would just the same exact thing. Yeah. Uh, Dan Aykroyd is just playing himself in the, in, yeah. uh, uh, the yeah. Ghostbusters movies. But I just, I, I really, I'm okay with them having the guys back and having Ecto-1 and having Slimer. And, like, I'm okay with all of them. And the, the little Marshmallow 
puff the marshmallow man. Stay puff marshmallow because man. we got those in the last in one. In the yeah. last one, I, yeah. But, but I don't, I don't care if it is a nostalgia fest through the whole time. I trust that that they're going to tell a good story. Yeah, yeah, and I think that was the yeah. point with the first one, the first one of this iteration it's you know um same with uh, the oceans like the continuations of the of the oceans movies and really good choice and and the and the girl ghostbusters and it's like uh, you know we kind of stayed away from them and then watched them you know later on. later on when they were streaming and found out that they were actually really good and then it's like oh okay cool um you know i don't I don't care. You you don't need to diagnose every single nuance of You're a movie. Go. Did you have fun? Was it? Did you laugh? Did you cry? Did you eat popcorn? Did uh, you escape for two hours? We're cool. going to sit here and watch New York freeze to death again. <laughs> right, right. And and I, I, one of the one of the things that for us around here is we talk about things that we we look for things that we love and like. Uh, and focus on that than the stuff that we found negative. I can point out every hole in every Godzilla movie or Kong movie that we ever seen. Yeah, I love those movies. Yes, yeah, you can point you can but, point out holes in every movie. Yeah, it doesn't. I, I don't care. I'm here for them fighting ghosts in New York with Ecto One and yeah, everything freezing yeah. over and the boys coming back. And, yeah, and I mean even if the boys didn't come back, even if we just got, uh, even if we didn't. You know, we got a little cameo, quick, quickie with like we did last time with Dan Aykroyd, and that was it. I'd be okay with the three of them at the end too. At the end, yeah, 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 Yeah. like right at the end. But you know, okay, so you do the three of them again, yeah, yeah, um, a real quickie. I would have been okay with that because I like all of these characters. I like the kids, you know. I like Paul Rudd's character. Um, I like the mom, you know. I just like all of them, so I. They didn't have to yeah, yeah, I, bring them back, but I, we, they did, and I'm here for it. I wanted to do a th- four minute, like, here's the trailer, there's a reaction, <laughs> we're happy. And we're just like, no, we're like excited. Like I yeah. said, this yeah. is one of our more anticipated movies of the year. It's Dune 2 and then everything else. I'm yeah. just going to be honest. <laughs> We've been waiting for Dune 2 since they announced Dune 1. Yeah, right. uh, but, but this is one of our more anticipated movies because I am excited about getting a big freaking. I want Ecto One popcorn holder in my lap and just <laughs> shoveling popcorn in yep. my face. Yep. And, and that's yep. what we, that's why you go to the movies. Right. Not because heartbreak feels good in a place like this. <laughs> Anybody Nicole. who tells you that is trying to sell you something. <laughs> so let us know what you thought of this trailer and a reaction in to it. <laughs> <laughs> in the comments down below please be nice that is a requirement around here like this video subscribe to the channel it's free and it helps us out share it with your friends too and like us on all the social media stuff facebook instagram twitter and tiktok links in the description down below and until next time cult members good afternoon good evening and good night now